guys, Crypto Keith here. Today I want to talk about BitConnect a little bit. So, I haven't been too involved with BitConnect recently other than the about thousand dollar loan that I have taken out. So I'm waiting for myself to earn my thousand dollars back, take it out of the platform, and then just work with profits which I suggest to anybody doing these lending programs to eventually get to that point. Whatever you do, do not do this uh, strategy. Do not put in a bit of money, get confidence in the platform paying out, reinvest that money, and then put more of your savings in, put more of your savings in, uh, put your your weekly earnings put uh, money that you owe in bills in there to profit off the money and then pay the bills do not put everything you have in there don't put all your eggs in one basket and just because the site is paying out today and it can be profitable um, do not put your whole savings in remember when they say only invest what you can lose and really think about this. With what you have in these lending programs, what you can afford to lose. Even cryptocurrencies. Can you afford to lose that? Is it worth making the money to potentially lose it? If it is, then you're good. If it's not, then try to wait and take some out. Um, cash some out and maybe uh, if, if ideally you can get to the point where you have only your savings invested in there and maybe work with just trying to get affiliates because um, you don't need that much money in there to be profiting big off of it. The, the real idea behind the platform is uh, getting affiliates. Getting uh, yourself to sponsor other people, finding people that could use the potential that this offers. People that need to get ahead but haven't figured out a way to do so. People that need to focus on other things in life uh, and need to quit their job. Maybe people that just had a child and need to look after the child. People that would like to go traveling and see the world. People that want to start their own business and need to put money into it for the first year or so um, and won't be earning profits in that time. Um, people that are living their passions and they're not earning from their passions enough to get by and support themselves. Uh, they could be earning from these lending programs enough to pay their bills and support themselves and still live their passion, still do what they want to do in life. And this is what cryptocurrency really offers you. It offers you the possibility to work less, to work smarter and not harder, gives you the possibility to be a pioneer in something and um, to help shape and help um, form a new industry uh, and it gives people the potential to learn about many things, lending, uh, trading, markets, uh, stop orders, shorts, longs, uh, day trading. You know, these, these things are all good things to know and understand. Compound interests. This is one thing that BitConnect uh, specifically offers you the chance to understand and benefit from. So, yes, there are potentials there, there are things you can benefit and gain from these platforms like BitConnect. 
but you have to do it in a way that works for you and a way that you are benefiting and getting ahead no matter what. So, um, BitConnect has been giving less money for loans. And this is something you need to worry about when you're locking your money in for a year. Is in that year, if, if anything happens, you can't take, have the choice to take your money out. So if you're getting less payouts than they promised, if you're not, if it's no longer profitable for you, you cannot take your money out. If the price is going down drastically, you cannot sell. And so these are limitations to the BitConnect platform. And we're seeing that the price, um, the interest rates were going down a little bit. But people are very paranoid when it comes to um, being scammed. Humans are creatures of fear. And uh, with our history and our past, there's no wonder. And so this is something that is going to keep coming up. You're going to keep seeing people um, try to convince you that Bitcoin, BitConnect, and other things are a scam. And just, just expect that. Uh, it's okay to do a little bit of research and to watch some people's videos um, and get that perspective as well. But at the end of the day, it's um, it's not it's not every single piece of news that you're going to use to um, to make a judgment of whether you should invest in something. It's collecting all the pieces of news together and making uh, a judgment from a bigger, uh, farther away perspective. So. You can look at the price charts. You can look at things that BitConnect is doing. BitConnect is uh, going to be at the blockchain, one of these blockchain conventions, conferences. They're gonna have a booth there coming up. Um, so they're being involved in the community now. They are on a new uh, exchange called, I think it's uh, HitBTC. Uh, and this is good news. So it was, by the end of the month, they're going to be on this new exchange. This new exchange uh, had BitConnect, uh, or sorry, had Bitcoin Cash on there, uh, and, and Bitcoin Cash was using the symbol BCC, which Bitcoin BitConnect uses. And this exchange, it's a big exchange in the UK. Uh, one of the, it's always on the top ten. Uh, exchanges so it's a big exchange um, they are changing the name the symbol for BitConnect Cash to make room for BitConnect Coin so they're going to give the BCC to BitConnect Coin now what this means is that BitConnect is here to stay what it means is that uh, that it is not just people that want to profit that believe in this coin. That exchanges are making long term plans to hold this coin um, and they're, they're making, uh, they're sacrificing things for BitConnect to make way and room for BitConnect to succeed. Once BitConnect goes live on this exchange, there's going to be a huge wave of people buying it. Like we see with any coin that goes on to any major exchange, the price goes up after that happens. So, what we're seeing is BitConnect, they are, from what I understand at this point, I understand a lot about how this platform works, a lot that I didn't understand when I first got into it. I've, I've done lots of research, watched almost everybody's different perspective on this. I have watched all of the research where people have gone to the Bitcoin conventions, spoke to BitConnect, the company, in person, done interviews with them, uh, and got some of the real dirt. And when you get enough information on something, they start to tell you things 
that they don't might really not mean to tell you and it helps you make a clearer picture that's why um, so much data is collected on you and that's why the police need to collect so much data on you because when you have more data you can make a clearer picture of something and uh, the more data they have on you the more easily they can judge what you're going to do um, what you what you're thinking what your beliefs are things like that so so uh, this is this is one reason that companies that don't have good intentions and um, that don't believe in the, their own idea and don't think it's beneficial to the public will stay out of the public eye. They'll keep themselves hidden. Um, but this also happens when people are afraid of authority. So you have to really do your research and find out which reason. For instance, Satoshi Nakamoto was keeping himself secret because of authorities. And, um, and the more information uh, he gave out on him, more easily they could find out more about him, who he is, what he is, and things like that. So um, that was the reason there. BitConnect, I think it's the same reason. But a lot of people see this non-transparency as, as the latter, as um, the fact that they have ill intentions. But now we're seeing that BitConnect is being more involved in the community. They are having events that they they bring in their top lenders and uh, they explain and, and have question uh, and answer scenarios for their uh, highest paid, paid and highest earning customers on the platform. We also see them uh, being involved in these blockchain uh, conventions and uh, we also see them being very active on their blog, social media and things like this. So. These are good signs. The fact that they are, are coming on to more exchanges now means that they are not planning on uh, taking everyone's money. They're planning on being here for the long term. They're planning on uh, trying to get their coin to go up in value. And, uh, and this is really what it's all about. Because when you're lending BitConnect, you are doing it in this way. And this is what I've come to understand that when you lend to BitConnect, say you have money, cash, sitting in your bank account, fiat dollars. Say you have a thousand US dollars sitting there. Why can't you give them a thousand US dollars? Well, for one, because there, there uh, are a lot of regulations when it comes to US dollars and uh, lending platforms, financial platforms, and things like this. So for them to be able to just accept Bitcoin instead of cash, this uh, could be one of the reasons, and probably most likely is one of the reasons a lot of these lending uh, platforms accept Bitcoin and not cash. The other reason is the fact that Bitcoin's value is going up. And if these exchanges are accepting Bitcoin and giving you dollar amounts um, at the time you've lent it, uh, and they're they're keeping track of your your uh, your value in dollar amount, then at the time that they're holding your money, if Bitcoin up, goes up, they profit. So just you loaning them your Bitcoin could give them a potential revenue to pay you out a certain percent per day. The fact that they uh, started, they created a BitConnect coin, this wasn't always there. There used to be a lending platform since 2016 um, that they accepted Bitcoin on for US dollars. They would measure it in US dollars. So, they realized they were probably making uh, good money at the time they were doing Bitcoin loans. But then they realized something. 
they realize and what I think is the most genius part of BitConnect. It, why it stands out from all these other lending platforms is they have understood something. They have understood um, how to do this in a way that no one has thought of. That is actually very, very, very profitable and very valuable. So the way the system works is BitConnect created a coin. At the time they created this coin, it was worth nothing. But as people started needing to buy it to get into the platform and lend, the coin started going up in value. The fact that they make you keep your money in for a year makes it so that people cannot sell their coins. They can only buy, making the price go up. People sell out slowly and over time, and there will be big waves of people cashing out. That is going to make it more difficult for the platform at those times. But this is where it gets interesting, because they're not relying on one aspect to profit. They're relying on about five different aspects. And each one of these aspects can support their payouts. So, if one aspect starts to not do so well, they are still making four times what they need to pay you out. The first one being the fact that they are holding your coins and the coins are going up in that amount of time that they're holding it. So, some people they might have lent out $10,000 worth of BitConnect when it was worth $10. Now it's worth $200. That's 20 times profit, 20 times the amount of money in a couple months, let's say six months, that they profited off of holding your money. How much did they pay you out in those six months? Well, if you get, you get about your, your money back, 100% of your investment every three months. So they would have gave you two times your money. They made 10 times what they paid you out just on the price of BitConnect going up. The next area that they ensure that they cannot lose and fail is the fact that they're paying everybody out in BitConnect when they leave the platform. So when you get into the platform, you buy BitConnect off of uh, off of BitConnect, you buy BitConnect coin off of them for Bitcoin. You're giving them something very valuable, they're giving you something that's not very valuable um, that will go up in the future, but when you lend it back to them, you kind of waive that, that profits that you would have made from it going up in the future. So, they except Bitcoin. So they're getting millions of dollars every day in Bitcoin. And they're paying people out in BitConnect coin to leave the platform with. When you're getting paid out in US dollar amount, say you got $10 in interest per day, that US dollar amount is not in US dollars. It's in BitConnect coin. That's why you can transfer it so easily over your BitConnect wallet. It's in BitConnect coin already. They're not using volatility software on Bitcoin at all. There's no, um, yes, they might be making money off of Bitcoin, and that is one other aspect of their, their business, is they are taking probably this Bitcoin that they got for their BitConnect coin and giving it to their own lending bot to trade on. Their lending bot is profiting it's probably making, who knows, 10 times every couple months of what they initially got paid. So they're already making, on this, one aspect alone, about 10 times. They made about 10 times again on the other aspect. Now, the fact that they are, they're paying everybody out in BitConnect coin. 
a coin that they created. It costs them next to nothing to create. It's not like they're paying you out in US dollars. So now, anything that was brought into the platform by any affiliates, by any anything, they keep. They're paying out this coin that they created to pay you out in. When people want to sell that coin for Bitcoin, they're selling it to another user on the platform. So they're no longer getting uh, Bitcoin, they're only getting Bitcoin once for their BitConnect coin. But that's fine because they have all these other aspects to profit with. But here's one other aspect they could be using. What if they are taking your Bitcoin you're lending them and then selling that to people on the exchange uh, for Bitcoin again? They can technically sell that BitConnect coin up hundreds of times. Every time someone's uh, loan is done, their contract's over, they can, um, they then have to pay them out and, and leave the platform and sell it for Bitcoin. So they're missing out on that, that transaction of selling that BitConnect coin for Bitcoin, but that's okay because they are profiting so many times off of uh, this money and it's really it doesn't take away from what you're earning it's not like the fact that they're earning so much means that you're losing no we're both earning and that's the beauty of these new blockchain and decentralized uh, methods is that the code allows for massive profits the way it's set up allows for massive profits that can be shared with both parties. They just get the good end of the stick. And why not? They created the platform. They had to do all the work. So they get the good end of the stick. But that's fine. You get an also good end of the stick. The point is that BitConnect makes so much money off of what they're doing that they're not going to shut it down. They've already taken everyone's money. They don't need to leave the platform uh, and shut the platform down because they've already accepted everybody's money and given them out BitConnect coin. They are, if any volatility software bot is being used, um, it's being used mainly with BitConnect because why are you lending out BitConnect to them if they are using a volatility software to profit off your lendings uh, from Bitcoin? It wouldn't make sense. You'd be giving them Bitcoin. Um, they're not going to take that BitConnect coin, you sell them, and then go sell it again just to uh, use Bitcoin on the markets and then go sell it, uh, sell that Bitcoin back for BitConnect coin to give you BitConnect coin. Uh, to cash you out. No. So, this platform is, is, is good. They keep fixing every problem they have and they keep upgrading it. Also, I do think that uh, there are different regulations and laws when it comes to the fact that uh, they are paying you out in BitConnect coin. It's not like you're making a profit in uh, dollars, they're not paying you in dollars. So, yes, you're making a profit once you sell the BitConnect coin, but this platform does not deal in dollars at all. It's taking a token and giving you back a token. It's more of the tokens. So, it's a mutual exchange. It's not really a financial institution. It's more of uh, a contract, an exchange. You give me uh, this many BitConnect co coin today, I can use that BitConnect coin to make hundreds of times, to, to multiply hundreds of times, so then I'll pay you out more BitConnect coin. That is how the platform uh, will sustain itself forever. 
So I just wanted to say that once it goes on this new exchange, um, it is going to go up in value. So buy some. I am currently holding some BitConnect coin um, because I see that um, you can potentially earn a lot more in the in the BitConnect coin just going up in value uh, than they pay you out for lending it to them. So, and there are there are certain times that it will be better to hold BitConnect coin rather than lend it. Like right now, when it's going on to new exchanges, it's going to uh, go up drastically and in that amount of time. You want to be holding your own BitConnect coin so that you you profit off of the rise. Uh, and so, this um, this platform just keeps keeps impressing me. It never ceases to impress me. Um, I was investing in other platforms like BitPetit because the amount of time uh, you have to lock your money in is only a month. You get you you break even in a month, and, uh, and then you get your money. You you get payouts for another two weeks, and then that's it. So in six weeks, you get 150 percent of your investment, and so. I'd rather do that than lock my money in for a year. You're making about the same amount of money. A lot of these lending uh, platforms, they all they all sell it in a different way. They all market it differently. But really, at the end of the day, they're they're paying you out basically the same, the same uh, amount of interest. There's Bitloan, which just came out recently. It pays you out uh, in seven day uh, contracts. I'll put a link in the description for that one. I currently uh, did a test uh, lend for it, so I'll, I'll update you in the future. Uh, but but uh, just make an account now um, with my link, and uh, you will be on my team, and you'll get all sorts of access to marketing tools. And really, when you're on my team, what my focus is is to help you become businessmen, to help you become sponsors, and get your own affiliates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you succeed and make sure you succeed. I uh, have been taking ads out for my own BitConnect links and things like that. I have uh, blog posts, um, I have business cards, um, I'm doing all sorts of things. So if you're on my team, you get benefits from that. I will, in my blog posts, put all my team members links as well. Uh, and when you contact me after you do a loan, I can for free get you a logo for your team, your team name, and uh, help you brand it as well. And, um, and, and really this is what it's all about. Um, I can help you make YouTube videos if you have any questions or to write blogs. Uh, I don't suggest doing a lot of affiliate marketing on Steemit. I currently uh, had some issues with Steemit and I uh, just had to resolve them. They're very strict about their community um, not being uh, full of affiliate codes and uh, just trying to be an advertising uh, platform and uh, they really want to be a community for news and there's no ads on Steemit which, which makes it beautiful and a, a beautiful user experience. Um, and a beautiful place to go and get your news, your crypto related news. You can follow me, my, uh, my blog on Steemit is in the description um, and um, yeah, go from there. But you can use Blogger, uh, your own website, um, WordPress blog or site. You can use Google AdWords, um, you can use Google Ads, you can use um, Add BTC, all sorts of uh, things are available to you, and it really is another um, a task that that um, just getting affiliate links and 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 getting uh, people on your team is a full time career on its own, and you can use lots of creativity and you can create a genius method yourself. 
because really it's about using what you have available to yourself. The future is really about what you're doing now. If you're not doing things now um, that help you work towards where you want to be in the future, you're not going to be there in the future. Time is kind of connected. It's not as linear as you think. So whatever you're doing now is, is going to be mirrored in your future. So all you have to do to change your future is change an action now to, to do something now. And, uh, and that reinforces your future. You're, you're really just taking a step to another path, to a, onto another road that leads you somewhere else. So, hope this was helpful. Um, I have links in the description to lending platforms, but like I said, um, don't invest more than you can lose.